Every day, dozens of Idahoans lose a loved one to COVID-19. Some may be fortunate enough to not yet be impacted personally, but those deaths aren't just numbers. Three Boise State art students are now bringing the data to a more visual platform. Our Nicole Camarda takes us inside a Boise State art exhibit that shows each Idahoan who has died from the virus in a unique way. Art offers another avenue for that conversation that's not as polarized. And I think it's important that we have opportunities to have more intimate conversations where we recognize the humanity in each other. This project kind of tries to work toward that. 3,168 pieces of thread are embroidered on this hospital bed sheet. Each thread on this piece named Thread Count represents a death in Idaho due to COVID-19. We're experiencing a lot of grief in Idaho right now with these deaths. I think everybody's been touched by uh, this illness. Jose Giovanni Herrera and Danny Wheeler are my collaborators. The three of us decided to have a community embroidery circle where we would invite people to come and embroider each death. Each starburst is a county in Idaho and each stitch represents a death. Each county was embroidered by a different person, and so it really is a community effort. To expand on each stitch, they added interviews with healthcare workers to help visitors feel what they are seeing every day. Hearing those family members cry day after day after day, and knowing that, you know, I can't take a break because I'm already there and working as hard as I can, and just listening to those sobs and still like trying to work is it's it's a lot our health care workers are very um, drained right now you may not have time to process that hey we just turned off care on a 27 year old who had three kids at home two hours later they might turn off care on another sad case and so it's unrelenting really the artists hope to give visitors some insight into the day-to-day -day struggles of Idahoans working the front lines while honoring those lost to the virus. When you hear what they are witnessing, you won't believe it. The symptoms caused by this illness are severe. What people go through when they die from COVID-19 is so tragic and it's not the way anybody should die. It's just interesting to contemplate that and um, the trauma that our community is faced with right now and how we will look back on this time. Um, I think it's it's going to leave a mark in Boise. Nicole Camarda, Idaho News 6.